another Sunday and another 49er loss. And uh, I don't know why, but this one seems like it hurts a little bit more than most. Maybe it has to do with Cap coming back and the hope that it gave some 49er fans and hoping that he could spark something in the offense. And he did. I mean, he stretched the defense. He connected or at least attempted to connect on long passes. You know, and it felt good to see that. However, it's the same old issues with this team. And the running game is, its excuse me, the running defense is just god-awful. At one point, you, you just, it's a joke. Third and 20 on a draw, and you let Shady McCoy get 21 yards? You know, what's that about? You know, the, the linebackers, excuse me, the middle linebackers, it hurts not to have them in there. It really does. We are missing Bowman. We are missing Ray Ray Armstrong. And I know a, a lot of mainstream fans and regular fans, they're not going to know who he is. But he was integral to this defense. These guys are fast sideline to sideline linebackers. And they would help so much compared to what we have now. And then the scheme. You know, Jim O'Neill's defense, it's a garbage defense. I mean, we all had hopes. I think a lot of people, a lot of 49er fans, really wanted to believe in this defense and there are schemes in it that are well there's plays in it that are good but overall Jim O'Neill was probably the fifth or sixth best choice to be the defensive coordinator and you're seeing why he was the fifth or sixth choice um, he won't be here he's going to be the sacrificial lamb and I think Bulky needs to go as well obviously and it's hard because I don't hate Bulky the way most 49er fans do they blame him for everything. You know, things happen. You know, I'm tired of talking about the coach that was here before Jim Tom Sula. So let's not even get into that. You know, let's just talk about what he's done as a general manager picking players and signing. He hasn't had a good free agency class. I guess they don't believe in picking a player's via free agency. And understandable. You know, that's not the way you really want to build your roster. You know, John Alway is the exception. But nine times out of ten... Building your roster through free agency and high-priced players is a way to you know, end up picking first in the draft. But then you look at his ability to draft talent on the offensive end, and that's becoming an issue, and it's just blaring out offensively. You know, Chip Kelly is doing what he can. People are starting to turn on Chip Kelly, which I think is ridiculous. I think Chip Kelly is a good coach. You know, he's a good coach for us. Uh, you see at the beginning when they weren't able to run inside, he starts to throw plays to the outside. He starts running sweeps. He starts running plays that are going outside zone. He's looking for plays outside. He's attacking the edge once he realizes that the interior is stuffed. That, you know, Buffalo's defense, they're just pinning theirs back and they're going straight through the A and B gaps. You know, and they were stuffing Carlos side. It wasn't until he started to attack the edge and Kaepernick was able to throw deep and you started to see some plays inside develop. You know, inside inside zones to Carlos Hyde were starting to work. But then the defense. And that's where Bulky's biggest issue is. You know, and I mean, three touchdowns, over 200 yards rushing for Shady McCoy is unacceptable for this defense. And I want to see this defense do better. But for now, this is what we have. And to be honest, bottom line is I think that at the end of the 2016 season, whether we have one, two, maybe five wins at the most, I believe that it will be the end for Blaine Gabbert, for Colin Kaepernick, for Jim O'Neill, and for Trent Bulky on this team. There's no place for them on this franchise in 2017. I do not hate on Colin Kaepernick. I think he did a good job, but I think at this point, I think it would be better to get rid of him and Blaine Gabbert and move forward in 2017 with a rookie quarterback and begin to build with a new GM and a new offensive mindset and put pieces that will allow Chip Kelly to really expand. You know, I think people are going to blame Chip Kelly for this defense, and it's not. This is inability to convert, this is injuries, and this is bad schemes. So that's my short take on the 49ers this week. We did not perform. We did not perform at all on defense, and the changes need to be made. But unfortunately, I think that this is just going to be a very rough 2016 season for the San Francisco 49ers and for their fans. And here's hoping that at least we can grab a win against New Orleans or against Tampa in the next few weeks. 
Other than that, just keep praying, 49er fans.